Welcome back to JSA TV, everyone. We are coming to you live from the expo floor of Yada 2024 here in Las Vegas, having a wonderful time on our second day of broadcasting, I might say. Right now, we're going to be talking to Ashley Sturm with Nautilus. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. So before we get into it, you guys had a really cool announcement that we're going to talk about in just a moment, but just to set the stage for folks who might not be aware of Nautilus and what you do, can you just let us know how you fit into the landscape here? Yeah, so Nautilus years ago developed a zero water consumption cooling system, and that's really morphed into what our team's main effort was to get this ability to as many people as we could. So we run EcoCore in the infrastructure and now on a CDU line. And so depending upon how a data center wants to bring in, you know, a huge like nine module system to help build in the internal, like a data center product, or whether they just want to use the CDUs, they can really capitalize on that zero water consumption ability. Very cool. And you just had, you mentioned uh, EcoCore. You just yes, had a very yeah. cool announcement with that yesterday on yeah. EcoCore Cool. Yes. Tell us about that. So EcoCore Cool is our CDU that we just launched. It's been deployed most recently at Start Campus, uh, 12 megawatts of capacity there. It, you know, has a number of benefits. The main one, it is the only data hall cooling distribution unit as compared to like an in-row. Um, and then in the data hall, it allows any type of liquid cooling. So you can use immersion, direct to chip, rear door cooling. You can mix and match all within the same data hall. It's basically your choice, which really opens up, um, you know, future proofing your facility and being ready for what's coming next. That being said, as soon as we say, hey, we're running a closed loop of water, possibly over top of your IT gear, everybody kind of starts shrieking and worries about leaks. We have a patented system, completely leak proof. If you were to pull off a nozzle, it sucks air in. We run that under a light vacuum with our system. And then on the open loop side, you can use fresh water, gray water, uh, industrial system, salt water, whatever your choice is. Wow, that's yeah. truly innovative and, and very amazing stuff that you guys are working on. Yeah. It's been exciting. Well, we're we're at a conference where we're talking a lot about a couple of things. We're talking a lot about sustainability. We're also talking right. a lot about AI yeah. and how that is impacting the digital infrastructure industry as it continues to grow. Um, so let's, you and I, talk for a moment about AI and cooling yeah. in the data center industry. I mean, these are critical to helping improve efficiency. So where does Nautilus fit into this picture? So really bringing in a liquid cooling system. So anybody who, you know, remembers high school physics, um, heat, I try not to, but, <laughs> but sure. Heat, heat always travels faster through liquids. So what we're doing is if you bring in a liquid cooling system at the rack and then connect to the liquid cooling system that we provide with the CDU, the efficiency gains are huge. So at no point we are trying to never move that heat into any kind of air because that's where you lose efficiency. And so that really allows AI to get up to these really, really high densities. I mean, even kind of explaining it sounds silly because once you're talking over a hundred kilowatts a rack, right? It can go you know, really, really high as long as you are able to keep it in a liquid stream longer. And that's how EcoCore Cool really helps benefit. We're keeping that heat in the liquid stream, removing it faster, becoming more efficient, and at the same time, allowing sustainability to take, you know, front and center. Yeah. And, and I mean, it boosting um, efficiency on right. the sustainability side but, right. and also on the operation side, but that sustainability right. piece is just so critical right now. Well, and at no point, we never wanted to be sustainable just for the sake of it, right? It's not like we sacrificed one thing to say, oh, well, this is sustainable. Because of the efficiency, because we're not moving that heat into any type of air, we're keeping it in a liquid stream efficiency happens. So at the same time, it's sustainable. Now, of course, the zero water consumption, if they so choose to hook it up to salt water, as Start Campus is going to, um, then 
they also have that zero water consumption on that open loop. So, you know, it's a win-win on both sides. Absolutely. Anything else coming up that you're excited about or anything else that you want to give us a sneak preview of? <laughs> no, this was a big one. This one was a big one for us. Um, you know, we had our VP of product um, stand up on stage Monday. He kind of talked about it a little bit early. Um, this is a really big deal uh, for our company and for the industry. We worked really hard, obviously, deploying it successfully, making sure that we could get it and get it out quickly, right? 12 to 16 weeks at most after the order, um, really relying on regional integrators to move this system forward and make sure the supply chains weren't a concern. Um, so it's a big deal and we're going to have to ride that way for a good while. Yeah, It absolutely is. Congratulations Thank on it. You. I know a lot of hard work went into it yeah. and we look forward to seeing how everything pans out. Thank you for telling us about it here yeah. on JSA TV, and hopefully we can have you back again soon. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. Thanks, Ashley, and thanks to our viewers for tuning in. We appreciate all of your attention at home as well. Uh, in the meantime, everyone, stay curious and stay connected.